So if you've been watching the channel for a little bit, you'll probably know I kind of like to do some weird intros if I can find something original. And uh, this is pretty original, actually. I had no idea that you could just sit on these creatures. This is amazing. I'm just chilling on this freaking giant tech giraffe, the strider right here. I mean, like, <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. Oh my god. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to be taming a strider here today because, I mean, we'll take a look at the requirements. We need to complete six missions and then also have five mutagen, which is very, very, very expensive to actually get. Uh, so we're not going to be doing that here today. Instead, we're going to try and get ourselves a Maywing because I'm actually way past the level that I need to be to unlock the... Well, I've already unlocked it, but you know what I mean. To get the net projectile and then also the harpoon gun. So that's what we're planning on doing here today. I've to organize the little base shop a little bit um so here's what we need we need harpoon let's see so for that i'm gonna need um 30 polymer i did actually get more obsidian from another drop which was great because i had 49 in the last episode and that was pretty horrifying because it's like okay we're where do I get that last piece? But don't worry, we have that now. We just need 30 polymer and then also the nets. Uh, oh, do they? Okay, maybe you craft them in your own inventory. Uh, here we go. Yeah, there they are. Okay, so those cost uh, not that much stuff as well, but they will cost some polymer. So you may be thinking, Syntax, how the hell are you going to get polymer? You don't even have a fabricator yet. Don't worry. I've already figured it out. So here's what we're going to do. We have our little moss chops here and he's got some extra levels on top. Let's go ahead and do that. We have these harvesting levels that we can pump, and I've already pumped nine into this, so then we're gonna pump another two. Now we have 11. So we're gonna try and kill some ducks down here at the water and then harvest them using the moss chops, and that will yield us hopefully a good amount of organic polymer, but we're gonna have to wait and see. Um, so here we go. There's definitely a bunch of these guys down here. Let's see, can I spot any straight off the bat? You know what? I think I see one. Oh, there's a bunch over there. I was looking over there though. Uh, they have like weird ass bubbles on them right now, which is kind of strange. So I think the best way of doing this is probably not actually killing them in the water. Instead, we'll just uh, kind of like piss them off a little bit. Um, okay, well, I did not mean to tech jump there. So my plan is if we can get them to come out of the water and come after me. Uh, there we go. Okay, let's see. Now we can kill them with the moss chops, which isn't necessary to harvest. We just need to actually harvest up the bodies, but... Here we go. Okay, only one of them's coming. Great. So they don't care about their friends at all, apparently. All right, let's see. There we go. 38 damage, not a bad amount. Okay, come on. We gotta kill this little guy before he eats my face. Oh no, he's getting back into the water. Dude, no, come back here. What is that? Is that my own poop? That, well, not my poop, but my moss chops' is poop. Yeah, we're gonna need that. Definitely gonna need that. We're growing the carrots right now, and I need lots of that stuff. And this is awful because they're just swimming away now. Is he coming back? He's coming back for round two, guys. No, he's not. <laughs> God damn it. He, he turned away at the last second. All right, let me see. Uh, maybe we should get them out and just bowl of them or just shoot them in the head straight away when they come out. That would probably be a better idea. Speaking of shooting things in the head. There we go. Lovely. Guys, go ahead. Do me a favor. Hit the like button. Shoot the like button if you want. I mean, I don't I don't know what you guys do with your guns. Um, <laughs> go ahead and do that anyway. We, we're getting some crazy support so far in the series. And uh, let's keep that up, because you guys are getting my freaking videos to trending and stuff. So, yeah, keep that up, please. <laughs> That's awesome. Come on. Let's see. We almost got him. We got to kill him and then harvest him quick. Wait, how do I harvest again? What is the special? Okay, I got 18 from that. That's good enough. I thought there's, like, a special button to harvest, like, efficiently or something. Um, where? Okay, the piranha don't care anymore. Great. All right. Oh, no, the duck was out of the water. Get back. Oh, you little. Okay, let's get over here. Um, what is that right there? Oh, it's the Dillo. Never mind. All right. So, oh, we got another duck here. Hey, come here. Get back here, you little. Okay, we, we can kill this guy. Oh, yeah, let's chase him out of the water. Oh, sweet, look. A freaking Hesperonis egg. That's great because you can actually uh, cook these into oil in the uh, cooking pot, which is great. So, that's awesome. So we have uh, 37 so far, which is a good amount. We have enough for the harpoon gun, but we're also going to need more because I want to obviously try to make up some uh, net as well. So here, let me, here we go. We got that little guy killed and eaten. Dispose of all of the evidence. So let's see if we can get another duck here. We are kind of getting overburdened, but I could just drop berries after this. All right, eat his butt. Come on, there we go. And there we go. Awesome. So... How much was it again for one net? I feel like it was like four, I think. And then it was 12 ingots, right? I believe that's how much it costs, but I should probably check uh, net. It's kind of weird how you craft this like in your inventory, um, but yeah, fair enough. 
All right, let's see how much do we have so we're gonna need that and then that for the uh for the actual harpoon gun and then we're gonna have we can't combine them if they're inside of a creature's inventory we're gonna have 28 left over so that's gonna give us seven of those so that's actually a good amount for now um there's probably some more ducks around here i mean there's one way over there that we could probably just go for as well and we have all of the uh <laughs> we have all the fiber that we would need for that as well all right, let's go for that last duck over there. He's just he's just chilling all the way over in that direction. I don't see any more, though, but I will keep my eyes peeled for some more of these guys because I actually don't think that there's any other creatures on this map that can provide... Oh, wait, no, I'm wrong. I was about to say... Okay, I'm also getting out of the water. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say there's no other creatures on this map that can provide uh, organic polymer, although I'm 100% sure I've seen some mantis in the other biome in my little other videos that we've been making outside of outside of the survival uh series so yeah um we're, we're gonna probably try and go for some of those guys at some point but this will have to do for the moment because there's like nothing else in this area for organic polymer also i think it might be c i think that might be the button that we might have to hit to get the super efficient stuff going by the way i do realize um oh we have helena hidden probably because i was making a thumbnail at some point hello, oh hello yeah. there you go okay let me enter your little shop I do realize I could go in here and just buy crystal, but I don't want to just accept defeat. Or do I? I'm going to be doing this, okay? I have realized that you could do that. I've gotten so many comments telling me Let's to do, do it, again. calling me stupid. Don't worry. I'm not that stupid. I'm, I'm pretty stupid sometimes, but I did realize I could do that. I just didn't want to. I'd rather, like, try to actually find this stuff, but... From what I'm hearing, it's only really out in space, and I'm gonna have to, you know, obviously get out there at the exact time that whatever biome it's in is there, so I, I don't really know. I mean, maybe there's more crystal somewhere else, just I haven't gotten any credible information about it just yet, so let's see. Oh, duck eggs, or duck eggs, dodo eggs, there you go. Uh, let's pop these into you, and oh, we gotta put that up there. Okay, I'll do that after, let's see. So we wanna make up a harpoon gun, harp, and boom oh <laughs> god damn it ease the button that you can hit to craft and it's also continued typing unfortunately um all right so there we go we got the harpoon gun um let's put that there on the bar and then we're also gonna need the nets so let's see we're gonna need all of our hang on let's take that out of there awesome gonna need all of the organic oh my god i keep i always forget to like click away or you know just get out of that thing <laughs> and then i always accidentally click another uh button oh my god we don't have much metal oh wait no i have some i have some smelted even i was about to say crafted uh yeah there's not that much wow okay yeah so we need to go on a little metal run for sure uh but i might be able to make two of these three we can make three i'm bad at counting great so we have three of those now oh i forgot to put uh spark powder in here i thought i put some in so obviously i didn't put enough in let's go ahead and do that and then put the rest of the organic polymer into there that's awesome so yeah we're gonna need to collect up some more stuff and let's go ahead and make that spyglass then all right here we go um maybe i'll once i have a maywing we can actually take a proper look at trying to find a crystal it's definitely somewhere but you know like apparently the easiest way is to just go out into space and yeah that didn't go very well for me in the last episode if you guys remember uh, all right so all that stuff can just go away for the moment it's fine and we got to put that poop up above speaking of poop i can't poop speaking of poop can you poop probably not um okay here we go and unfortunately now it's getting dark so maybe what i'll do is I will go on a little metal run during the night and then we'll come back and we'll look for a maywing after so here we go let me go ahead and just load that up though oh damn look at that exact same animation as the spear bolt and the other thing the trank thingy so actually that's interesting now this can actually use three different types of ammo hmm i wonder if we're ever going to get better versions of this because i'm pretty sure the only way to do that is from genesis right in the missions all right, well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and get some more metal, and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, so we got a bunch of stuff. I am very, very overburdened right now. 3,200 weight, and let's go ahead and get back to base here. <laughs> this is so OP, just being able to, like, fly around like this. Oh, my God. So, yeah, if you're in the tech suit, I feel like most people already know this, but if you're in the tech suit, you, like, legitimately don't have to care about weight. <laughs> great you just can't freely walk you either have to like power run like that or fly so yeah we got a lot of stuff here why am i going to that i should be going over here i didn't grab much wood though so 
Uh, we should have enough at least for one of these things to get going. But for the moment, let's go ahead and grab ha Oh, I can't do that. Never mind. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'll go ahead and put another half into there. And then we'll put the rest into this one. And then we got to put all the stone somewhere. So I guess I'll put that into here. Come on. There you go. Boom. And then give me half of that wood. And let's get that lit up. Sweet. All right. So we need more wood for the rest of the things here, but also probably just to have. And go ahead and put that away for the moment. And we also need food. I don't know why I wasn't eating, to be honest. I guess I didn't think I had any for some reason. <laughs> oh, no. There's another Delo. Go away. Seriously. I don't have to deal. Oh, my God. Well, no, no, no. There's two dons. I didn't know they were here. Uh-oh. Well, that's not what you want. You don't, you don't want true dons. Oh, they're so dangerous. They're so mean. Go away. Ah, he can probably jump up to me, to be honest. Um, I'm just, I'm going to go in this direction. We'll see what happens. We'll see if it actually follows me. Hopefully it doesn't. All right, let's get over here. Come on. And we'll start using our hatchet over here and grabbing crap tons of wood. Ooh, that's a 156 right there. We could probably get that. Hmm. See, we don't have any kibble. So when I am taming one, I'm going to probably end up ruining its taming effectiveness because I'm pretty sure they take berries and that's going to take ages as well. So I don't know. I wouldn't actually mind taming up a 156. That actually is not a half bad level. Uh, oh, we don't want to accidentally smash into this dude. Uh, oh my God. 50 missions for this? Damn. 32 mutagen as well. That cannot... Wow, okay. What the hell does a 180 go for? 50 missions. I'm pretty sure I counted. There's like 51 missions in this DLC. What happens if I get a 180? How many would it take then? Would it take more than 50? It's a 108 right there. God damn, that is crazy. Wow, yeah, those striders are going to be ridiculous. We're going to be taming a low-ass level at some point because there's no way I'm going to be able to easily tame up a high level whenever I want. I'm going to have to get to that point. Oh my god. Actually, here's the interesting thing. Um, when mods start, you know, ripping all these creatures and putting them into their maps and stuff, they're not really going to be able to use the strider unless they, like, make their own custom version or something and, like, make it tameable in a different way. So yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be interesting. So yeah, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and pop that in there and sure, that can go in there as well. Um, we're still gonna have to wait for nighttime to roll by because it is currently, yeah, it's 2 a.m. I wanna go out looking for these dudes in the bright of day. Hey, we have some carrot. <gasps> no, no, it's compies. Oh, hang on, wait, I don't have any weapons on me and I can't use my power punch anymore because it doesn't work. Um, I guess I could have just hopped onto him actually. What am I even doing? All right, let's go for him. Why is he on passive flee? Moss chops are such cowards. Come on, get back it. Get back into battle. No, I can't even keep up with them. Hey, <laughs> I guess I could have whistled him, but still. All right, let's see. Wait, was it compies or was it the Stillo? I'm pretty sure it was compies, right? Come on. All right, let's just keep biting so we can hit him quicker. Oh, dude, this freaking Dillo is ripping me apart. Come on. There we go. Got you. 156. No wonder. All right, let's grab some stuff on the way back then. Um, yeah, that was uh, not pleasant. Where do the compies go? They don't seem to be here anymore. Oh my God, there's a peg out. No, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm going in this direction. Anyway, yeah, we gotta wait for daytime. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, there's the compies. All right, so I think I might go for that 156 that we found, but I wanna quickly just buy a cryopod here from Helena. Boom, there we go. Let's do this again. So that means I can put this dude away just so I don't have to keep him safe all the time when we're over there. Um, I do need to probably grab some berries before we go over there, though. And what is nearby? Is that a pego? No! Go away! Go away, go away, go away, go away. Oh, I hate pegos so much. All right, what do we do? Oh, why did you have to poop right there? Okay, I'm leaving. You fight the pego. I'm leaving. Should I net gun the pego? Probably not worth it, but uh, probably try and kill it. Oh, great. Now there's a second one. Really? Really? There's like nothing here that I could bring you to that will really go for you, is there? Probably not. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and, uh... Oh, I missed! Now you're making me waste my bullets. All right, you know what? It's fine. The Moss Chops has ran far enough away. Oh my god, he's absolutely bucking it. Jeez. All right, dude. Oh, there's a Trudon over here. No! Ah! No! Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. <laughs> 
No, there's a Dillo that will probably also start attacking. Oh my God. Little moth chops, I'm so sorry. Okay, come on, we almost have this thing dead. There we go, awesome. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. <sighs> all right, let's uh, let's try and grab some berries then. Like I was trying, oh my God, really? Everything just wants a piece of this ass right now. Wow, okay. Okay, so there we go. We got a hundred berries and we got a couple narco berries as well. Sweet. Um, let me go ahead and put you away. <laughs> Probably safer to go ahead and just uh, pop you in this little pokeball real quick. We're just gonna keep it in here for a little while. Um, yeah, let me see. So whereabouts was that Maywing? I think I flew, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We were up here, right? The trees are still missing, I think. If this is the area, this might be it over here. Okay, are you it? You are not it, but there was the 72 in the area, so that means I have the area correct. I think this might be it then. Uh, there we go, 156, okay, perfect. All right, so I'm probably gonna need to make up a couple more narc or trank arrows even. Um, oh my God, I could have just searched it. That took a lot of scrolling. There we go, that should be good. So I'm hoping we can get this thing down. We do have an apprentice uh, crossbow, so we're pretty good. We just need to hopefully get it down completely. Um, how much torpor do you have? Only a thousand, okay, yeah, no, this thing should be a walk in the park then. This thing should be really easy to take down. We just gotta hit it with the net first. Um, where did it go? Wait, did it go down? Oh no, wait, is down here a safe area? Oh, what, oh my God, well, okay, well this is like the most perfect area ever. Hey, there you, what? That didn't count for some reason, what? That was weird, well, there we go. Um. <laughs> That was weird. I'm not exact. Oh, seriously, that didn't count as well. What? Seriously? How come these aren't counting? Oh my. Can you not do this? Oh, there we go. You got, oh, his sensitive spots the nipples. There we go. We got to hit every single nipple in a specific order to get this thing down. Uh, <laughs> I guess uh, the headshots aren't really counting because it's like glitching into the rock a little bit maybe. My God, that would hurt. I don't think anybody wants those types of piercings. There we go, it's down. Awesome, okay. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and keep it on the tracker. And of course I didn't mess up the tame at all, which is great. So let's get this thing fed. And I don't know, do they drop in torpor quick? Oh, oh, it's a galley. Okay, I thought that was a raptor. Um, they actually drop relatively quick. I don't know if that's gonna be a major issue for us. I don't know how fast they tame. So, oh, I think it's starting to eat. There we go, 1%, okay. So that's gonna take a little while then, I would say. So we're definitely gonna need a good amount of narcotic in here. So I'll just pump in a couple berries and we do have the moss chops in case we need to go ahead and and uh, use some more or get, get some more. I'm just looking around here. I'm just trying to see if there's any bad things in the area. There is a horse over here and I do have carrots growing. Oh, that's not a horse, Never mind. Thought that was a horse. False alarm, it's not a horse. Uh, there is a horse here though, 102. There was that 174 that we found before but I don't know exactly where it was. Is that an office up there? Level 30, not bad, not bad at all. All right, well, yeah, this thing is down and the net is gone. Honestly, that net gun is a game changer. I heard some information that you can net gun Uteranuses. That's ridiculous. The fact that you can do that is honestly ridiculous because Uteranuses are very dangerous as creatures like running around. Like you can't easily tame them on the back of something, but if you just run up and hit them with the net, oh my God, you could just build a trap around them. Yes, we need to do that eventually. I don't, I think that they spawn on this map anyway. They might do. They're probably in the other biome, if anything. But um, yeah, that's gonna be just super handy for Ark in general. Um, so yeah, this thing's gonna take a little bit to tame up and we do have the saddle. Yeah, I do have the saddle, awesome. So, um, oh, actually here's one thing. Can I show this off? I feel like we might have to go too far away from where we are here to show this off. Water isn't that far, but you know what? It's fine. So um, the canoe, interestingly enough, can actually be used as a bed. I, I'm very surprised about that, but I actually spawned on one before, so I, I don't know. Apparently it's a bed. That's awesome. Um, I guess you can place a bed down onto a raft, so that kind of makes it in, in the same... I don't, I don't know. I think that's really weird. I, <laughs> it's super odd that you can actually spawn on the canoe. It doesn't say it, though but you can do it, so I don't really understand. But anyway, yeah, figured I should just mention that while I had the canoe on my mind. Anyway, uh, we're gonna be back in a little bit. I know I've probably gotten a couple comments about this, don't worry, I realized that I could go ahead and use the tech helm to keep an eye out for some creatures. We have the proper surveillance going on right now. This Maywing will get tamed without dying, like that Parasaur in episode one. Alrighty, let's see. 
Hmm. No suspicious activity. I think we're good for the moment. Hopefully. <laughs> I gotta say, the, the tech gear, level one tech gear, absolutely ridiculous. I really do think. I mean, you need tech crumbs to get this stuff on, like, other maps. And on here, you just get it for free every single time you respawn. Um, although, apparently, there's a bug going around where uh, that doesn't happen. I'm not exactly sure how to fix that, by the way. I've been getting tons of comments asking. Uh, I have no idea. All right, here we go. And... A missing crew called the Stuckfield Glider, a Maywing. They genetically engineered it to be a wet nurse and surrogate parent for all kinds of baby animals. Babies supposedly find their milk irresistible. Wow. <laughs> Still super creepy. Even just hearing Elena talking about it, like, oh my god, I don't, I don't like it, man. It's, uh, it's, it's just kind of weird, right? Isn't it? This is just me. I don't know. Anyway, I might have to censor all these nipples on YouTube. You never know. You never know. Um, <laughs> I've heard about this, and I haven't seen it myself. But apparently, if you do this, it starts squirting out milk. So this is my reaction. <laughs> Why is that one, like, misaligned? Oh, my God. Is, is it both sides? Oh, no. That's not okay. That's going to end up on some sort of website. Wild card. What the? Why? <laughs> oh, my God. Look, it's getting all over my hair. Oh, my. Yeah. No, that's not okay. What happens if I have, like, a canteen or something beside it? Can I, like, fill up or something, man? Can we just, uh, just have a little, a little suck? No, never mind. Let's not, uh, let's not go there. Um, wait, what happened? Okay, so, yeah, this is the feeding trough mode, essentially. Um, that's cool. I think that's interesting. It's just... <laughs> who... Who thought of this? Like, could you imagine the, the wildcard, like, board meeting? It's like, yeah, so we're gonna need one more creature. It should be an early game tame. Because we don't really have too many of those in this DLC. Okay, yeah, what should we make it? Hmm, maybe a giant platypus sugar glider that has voluptuous nipples and can squirt milk all over everybody yeah that that makes sense oh wild card what the hell <laughs> this is seriously gonna end up on some sort of website i already i can, can already tell uh i won't be visiting those websites though because i'm a good christian boy no not really <laughs> <laughs> I can't even get through that sentence. Anyway, uh, yeah, so this is the Maywig. Unfortunately, I do believe it is nighttime again, almost. So, God, you know what? We're just gonna have to play in the evening slash nighttime because I can't keep waiting till the, uh, till the starship jumps again. Um, oh, look at that right there. That's the little artificial sun that they have. It's kind of easier to see right now. It's really cool. I think it, like, moves between the two sides just constantly. That's really awesome. All right, anyway... So, the Maywing. This thing can do so much stuff, but I think the first thing we need to do is just start gliding. So, holding down space. Oh, I didn't do it properly. I think I, like, bumped off of something. Gonna hold down space and launch. Here we go. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is awesome. You know, um, Heather has been trying to convince me to get, like, sugar gliders for a little while, which they sound really cute, but I, I, don't, I don't know about that. Uh, definitely not after today, considering this, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god hang on wait we gotta we gotta glide on the surface of the water there we go look at that and then let's do another jump oh that was weird yeah i keep bumping off of stuff and it kind of like messes me up just a little bit yeah this is awesome i love this actually it's a really fast glider as well i mean here wait oh wait no you can't can you charge up a jump on the water it seemed like i just did definitely seemed like i just did all right yeah i'm terrible at using these guys let's go ahead and just gamma three there we go awesome so, yeah, uh, another gliding creature, just like the Rock Drake, just like, uh... Well, it's just the Rock Drake now, isn't it? I think it is. There might be something else, and if there is, I'm sorry for forgetting whichever creature that might be. But, uh, yeah, this is honestly just a really fun one to use. Like, I'm having a blast actually just gliding around here right now. But just for travel, like, this could be a really good creature. Oh, and we also have an explore note. I think that's because we tamed it, right? Damn, if only I had to plan that out a little bit better because I would have had a bunch of stuff to craft. Yeah, look at this. We're like zipping all over the place. This is crazy. It's also a really good swimmer as well. Let's head down if we can. Oh, that gl Oh, wow. We completely glitched our dude out. Holy crap. I don't even know what the hell just happened. Um, so, oh my... Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's an alpha megalodoodle right there. Huh. What level are you, bud? Oh, no, that's a scary level. 
<laughs> we don't want to don't go for that one um so yeah oh actually i've never actually been down to this spot right here what are those right there okay yeah that's a basilo with a bunch of manta we should probably not be in the water here considering everything bad that could appear all at once but yeah let's uh let's go ahead and get out of here let me see let me get up and we can actually jump out of the water as well which is great boom all right let's do a little bit of gliding Okay, we need to get up. That's the one thing with the sugar glider. <laughs> with the sugar glider, wow. With the Maywing, um, I've definitely found that it's a little bit... Well, I somehow bugged it out right there. It's a little bit um, difficult to, like, get up to areas. Like, you can't easily glide up to them, and uh, it can't climb up onto walls or anything like that, just like the Rock Drake. So, if you're kind of, like, stuck down a hill or something, you're not really going to have a great way of actually getting up besides just finding a way around or something. Uh, or a ledge that's like a little bit lower definitely uh makes it a little bit different from the rock strike whoa that was a massive jump i don't even know how i did that that was amazing oh my god all right hang on let's see let's try and glide a little bit more okay can we pull out weapons we cannot okay that probably would be a little bit too op uh considering it's like a starter tame pretty much i'm wondering can i go around and, and shower the whole arc with milk Let's do it. What happens when I do this? When I glide? Does it just keep squirting? Oh my god. Look at the milk. It's... <laughs> Why don't we have like a white trail behind us? That would be amazing. Oh my god. This is so weird. Oh my... I don't like that at all. Like when it spreads open like that, it's like a flasher, but it's also... Oh yeah, no. This, this is the raunchiest creature ever. So uh, I can't really take full advantage... Wow. I don't even like saying those words around this Maywing considering what it does. Uh, I can't take full advantage of what it can do because I don't have any baby creatures, but eventually when we do, we can actually see if we can, you know, properly feed them and nurse them using this thing. We can also store them inside of like little saddle pouches because it just has those, I guess. Um, but yeah, <laughs> this is so fun. God damn, this is a fun creature. Yeah, I love riding around on this. I gotta say like, it's, it's, it's very smooth. Yeah, um, <laughs> I can't even take those words seriously considering the nipples. Let's go ahead and put them away or at least make them stop being so excited. Uh, let's see. Can I land? Do you think I could land up on top of a uh, strider? I'm gonna try. Here we go. And we can also hit right click to go into parachute mode as well, which is pretty cool. And oh, we almost had it. Okay, let me try that again. Boom. And then parachute. Oh, oh, I, I guess I can't stand up there. Damn it. All right. So we can also uh, use the the little dive bomb. How do you do that again? Oh yeah, yeah, it's just hitting right click when you're on the ground. So we can go ahead and just belly flop. 125 damage is not bad for that. Damn. Okay, let me see what would happen if I dive bomb it though. All right, let's see. Uh, what do we want to dive bomb? Probably still the same Megaloceros. Boom, did that. Okay, that was a terrible shot. Whoa, we gain some serious speed when we do that. Holy crap. Okay, hang on and dive bomb okay what 125 again okay so you don't actually gain any extra damage when you do that oh should we go out should we go out into the lunar biome and use this thing i think we need to we definitely need to okay that needs to be a thing let's get out there real quick or maybe not real quick because we have to pass over all these freaking mountains and get all the way over to that other side let's see uh oh i thought i wasn't holding down space properly but apparently i was okay so let's go through this uh, exit over the far side in this direction. I probably should have went in the other direction though. Probably would have been quicker. Oh, hey, we got some aloes right there. Uh, we can also uh, net gun the aloes, by the way, in case you didn't realize like a, a Euteranus is uh, bigger than an aloe. And if we could do that to a Euteranus, that means that we could definitely do it to an aloe. I have some serious speed right now. What on earth? This is crazy. Look how fast I'm going just in a straight line. I'm not even falling down at all. Is that how you use this thing? You just point right forward like this? I thought we'd be falling down, but like, what is happening? It's as if I'm just like cheat flying my way around right now. This is insane. Oh, oh yeah, I almost didn't make it up there. Should have probably dipped down a little bit. Boom. All right, let's see if he can get over to this little exit. Unfortunately, most of it's uphill, so it might be kind of difficult for our little milky mama right here. What gender is this thing? It doesn't have a gender. Well, I, I guess that's probably the better option considering um, 
Because if it was a female, yeah, sure, it's milk. If it was a male, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't, don't know if we really want to go there in this game. <laughs> um, but yeah, so kind of happy they didn't do that. But I do believe that they can actually breed, by the way. I guess they just don't have genders, so that's fine. Uh, let's get out here then. And a boom. Oh my god, all right. Let's see. Hopefully there's some space dolphins that I can go and feed. All right, here we go. And zipping right through. Damn, I hope there's a race mission using this thing because that would be really fun. Got some space dolphins in the ship. And let's see. Zero gra- Oh, why do we have to teleport at this time? Wow. <laughs> why did we pick right now to go out? I didn't even realize that would happen. But yeah, I guess- I guess that's what happens when uh, it hits midnight and you're out there. So we gotta wait like a couple minutes until that goes away. I don't know when it's gonna go away though. Huh. I don't know how long it lasts to jump to the next uh, system. So maybe in the meantime, we can just jump our way over here. Oh my God, this is so weird. And there we go. All right, let's check out the uh, Rockwell's garden area then in this case, um, considering we can't actually do cool things out in space with our Milky Mama. What should we call this thing? I've gotten, I've got so many names, but they're all of like, let's just say they're bad men. <laughs> I don't want to call it any of those names, even though it would be kind of funny to me, at least, uh, it might not be funny to everyone. Um, oh my God, this, whoa. Oh, I actually haven't went through this way yet. Damn, this is cool. Like, obviously I'm, you know, in single player, I'm like checking out the map and like flying through, but I, I didn't go through this one yet. I wonder if this uh, side is a lot harder to find the exits to. Hmm. This is really cool though. God damn. Giant weird Rockwell tentacles or something. I don't even know what that stuff is. He's just becoming part of the ship and he's just transformed this whole biome into whatever he wants. His paradise, his, his vision. And it's horrifying uh, with really cool creatures. Oh, we need to grab some stam. Let's uh, not run out there. Are, are those shadow mains? If those are shadow mains, this is a no-no for me. I do not want to fight some shadow mains right now. We will tame one at some point. That will probably be our next DLC-based tame. Because um, I don't think there's anything like really between this one and that. Because I can't really go ahead and try and tame a Noglin. Because I'm pretty sure we'd have to go into the innards biome, which is pretty fiery and feisty. Um, let's go ahead and level some some health on this dude yeah this is uh <laughs> this is so strange all right let's get out there then here we go boom and let's see oh my god so i don't know if we'll be able to find any carnivora here today that would be kind of interesting because i haven't actually been able to die by them so this would be my first reaction if i do find any of them i can't find any right now though i have seen some but they seem to be like dead or something or maybe they, maybe they weren't dead. Maybe they were just, uh, you know, chilling and sleeping or whatever. I'm not exactly sure. Oh my God, this biome's so cool though. Look at this, this is insane. I, I was even gammed up, so this is what it looks like normally. Oh yeah, this is uh, the little thing from Genesis part one, right? I think you can go to that to grab some resources, but we're not gonna do that right now. Yeah, uh, this is a scary looking biome for sure. Let's go ahead and gamma up again, even though it's super, super bright, but whatever. Um, Wow, yeah, this uh, this will be interesting to check out. Oh, I think we're at the next star system, right? I think we are. Okay, so let's head back out then if we can. Um, if I can find an exit, there's probably one around here, right? Because this is the little trench area. You know, I think it's really interesting to check out this area because this would have been a, an identical uh, mirror image of the other ring because obviously the two rings are identical like in terms of like the actual ship part. So everything else, like all the broken bits and everything, I'm kind of wondering how they did that. Did they like model the whole other ring and then just take that and then break bits and kind of like model it after that? I think they probably would have, right? Kind of makes sense in my mind, but I don't really know how they did it. Can we just, oh wow, this is weird. It's as if I'm swimming. Oh, that's, that's a little odd. I don't, <laughs> it's very strange. Obviously we can't glide in space. That would be stupid, but uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is interesting. We're just, like, swimming. I guess it kind of makes sense, right? Yeah. Oh, you know what? Void worms. we got to watch out for them. Um, I do want to see if we can actually find some resources here, though. Because last time I was out here, we didn't find anything. Oh, those are little crystals. Is that, like, element or something? Dude, there's so many of them. We got metal nodes as well, I think. All right, let's see. What? Can we land? Can my guy land? 
Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay. Ooh, let's keep you right there, buddy. All right, let's uh, see about harvesting these. What do these give? Element shards, damn. Ooh, oh my God, there's so many of them. Oh, we got full on element as well. Are you kidding me? That is insane. We're getting a crap ton of it here. Okay, so here's the thing. I know Genesis part one had element that was harvestable, okay? I do realize that, but hear me out. It was in a very dangerous area that you couldn't easily come to. And as you can see, this is relatively safe right now, at least. Obviously, this, this isn't like a permanent area. We're not always gonna be at the same star system, but um, the fact that we're able to just come out here and grab this like with Hello, just you. complete peace, this is crazy. So if you had an Anki, I imagine that you could probably hit these with uh, more efficiency and everything. And then also mining drill would be great. Yeah, this is ridiculous though. I'm gonna probably drop all the stone, just bring as much element in as we can. I don't necessarily know if we actually need element right now, but eventually we're gonna need it. So we might as well grab some. All right, let's see. How heavy are the shards? Oh yeah, the shards are pretty heavy. So 100 shards gives you one element. So in total, I've collected 17 element. I've gotten more pure element than I have, you know, shards that could make element. So yeah, that's insane. Let's go ahead and drop some of this stuff there and collect up some more of this. This is ridiculously cool. So yeah, um, the kind of like turquoise kind of color uh, rocks out in space. Definitely go out and, uh, and check these out because these are great. This video is sponsored by these turquoise uh, element rocks. Check them out, uh, link in description. <laughs> Oh my god. I, I so many people uh, a couple of videos ago. Uh, I did get a video sponsored by wildcard, which I was very surprised about I was like I got the offer and I was like Really you guys know I'll just do this video anyway. Okay, you know what? I'll sure I'll take money I have a mortgage. I will definitely like to take your money and, and do that. So <laughs> it was kind of odd I definitely really appreciate it though. It was it was nice. I mean I felt really good about that. So yeah, um, I just, uh, so many people were laughing about it in the comments though. I think that's probably enough element for the moment. I mean, we've got a 25, uh, we've got 35 element right here that we, I mean, we obviously this is shards right now, but eventually we could make that into element. For the moment though, 25 just pure element is ridiculous. All right, let's see. Let's get back to our, our little spaceship. By the way, I'm thinking that I'm probably going to end up doing another lunar space battle this year because I did one last year with my patrons. We did like a massive uh, battle where we had like, what was it again? Astro Thetis on either side and then tech uh, tape jars as well. So we might do something like that at a bigger scale because now we have the Astro Delphus. So that could be very fun. So let me know if you guys uh, want to see that or if you have any more ideas for it or anything. And also join the patron because you probably have a better chance of trying to actually end up in that video if you are. <laughs> it's just easier to do this stuff with my patrons. Okay. All right. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to set that up at some point. I probably have so many patrons very excited about this right now. Give me time. Give me time. Anyway, I think we're probably going to end off the video here because um, if I fly around any more like this, it's going to get super boring. So we're going to go ahead and end off the video. Guys, if you have enjoyed it, go ahead. Do me a favor. Hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. Let me know what you want me to call this Maywing. Uh, top upvoted comment with the name gets to be the name of the Maywing. So leave some good suggestions down below. And I don't want any memes from the Doc series, okay? I won't even consider them. <laughs> I'll just be going for the next one. Oh my God. You guys know what that means if you watch those videos. But uh, yeah, that is it. And I'll catch you in the next one. I want to land down a base in the next one. There we go. Awesome. <laughs>